To obtain climate data from undersampled regions of the world, the ARM Climate Research Facility operates two mobile facilities with capabilities that mirror the permanent research sites in Oklahoma, Alaska, and the tropics. In contrast to the fixed sites, which are at a given location over a long period of time, we're able to go out and go into unique areas, areas where there's uh, data sparse regions or where processes are poorly understood and set up for a long period of time, at least you know, up to a year and at least cover the important seasonal cycles in that area and hopefully provide some additional information for climate researchers. The advanced instrument systems range from scanning radars and total sky imagers to micropulse lidars and aerosol observing systems. Data is collected by integrated computer systems and an on-site technician monitors and maintains the instruments throughout the deployment. As with the permanent sites, the mobile facilities include the capacity for space, power, and data processing for additional instruments from guest scientists. The original mobile facility was first deployed in 2005 at Point Reyes National Seashore in California. Since then, it has operated for about a year at a time in locations around the world, including Africa, Germany, China, and the Azores. Its next stop is the Ganges Valley in India. The second R mobile facility is designed for deployment flexibility, particularly for obtaining atmospheric data over the ocean. In addition to the baseline suite of ARM instruments, it includes instruments for measuring ocean meteorology and sea state conditions. Most of the instruments are contained in separate modules containing one or more instruments and their supporting electronic systems. Yeah, the core concept of the MF2 was to be very modular and agile. So we started off building modules and each module sort of has a focal point on instrumentation. Uh, there's an MPL module, Micropulse LiDAR. It's, it's pretty much a standalone system. Its uh, primary purpose is it makes measurements, vertical uh, measurements of uh, aerosols and uh, cloud properties. We also have a MET module, which uh, consists of the basic meteorology sensors. It'll include you know, wind, temperature, pressure, as well as surface fluxes of heat and moisture. And then we have a radiation module that include measurements for upwelling, downwelling radiation, as well as other uh, radiation systems. The modules are climate controlled and built of stainless steel. They can be deployed together or separately with wireless data communications that significantly reduce the infrastructure congestion and setup time for the facility. In addition, a stabilized platform that can support several hundred pounds is available to keep specific upward looking sensors level and pointing straight up during shipborne deployments. To make a measurement which is truly reg uh, representative of the atmosphere as opposed to representative of, of a boat, why well, you have to somehow find a way of compensating for that measurement. For example, if we were to put a, um, a, a remote sensor like a radar on a platform like this and point it vertically, this allows us to still measure the vertical motions in the atmosphere. Funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 is enhancing the RM Mobile facilities with 14 additional instruments for measuring a variety of atmospheric properties. These instruments increase ARM's ability to provide a more complete understanding of the evolution of cloud processes and related atmospheric properties in undersampled climate regions around the globe. <laughs>